ever have a situation where you're trying to do everything in your power to prevent something bad from happening because you've had it happen before, only to have it get me made worse as time goes on? So, yeah, in attempting to get back here without anyone being confused, I instead have more people confused. And so, it's clearly obvious that what you're going to see today will be me doing nothing but raging at this game for making it impossible to get to this boss without offing myself first. So with that in mind, greetings people of the world! Matthew back with you here in Novora Autism for the continuation of this Blind Let's Play of Earthbound. And this is the fifth time I have attempted to try and make it to this Sanctuary Guardian without running into a strutting Eva Mushroom and getting confused by it. In previous attempts, I have had everyone confused, I have had people kill each other, and so basically, there's I've tried everything that I could think of doing, I've taken various items and hoped that they could negate the effects of my confusion, including refreshing herbs, but none of them work at all. Meaning basically that if I want to defeat this Sanctuary Guardian here, the third one of the game, I'm going to have to make sure that I do not kill myself first. But more than likely, this, is going to, this episode is going to be a montage of me losing my mind because I can't make it here without anyone being confused. So, what do you say we take on this Guardian and try and figure out the new controls that I have been given because now that people are getting confused, I now have to figure out the new controls. Because yeah, I'm pressing left, but it's saying I'm going down. I press right, but it's saying I'm going up. I finally got here. Without not... Well, at least one person didn't confu get confused, but it's not gonna matter because we're all gonna die anyway. This is the third year sanctuary location, but it's mine now, and we're never gonna set it free. Take it from me if you dare. <laughs> yeah, you wish. Trillionage sprouts, whatever that is. But whatever, we're all gonna die anyway! So, let's have Mal unleash f Fire B on the Az, just so that we can get them out of the way, but it's not gonna matter. 139 against the Trillionage sprouts. Couldn't kill the sprouts in the first turn, but what does it matter? We're gonna kill each other anyway. See, the sprout. Hey! Steven actually attacked a legitimate enemy! What a concept! Wow! So you, so when you're confused, you're just not completely stupid. It's a Christmas miracle. It's a freaking Christmas miracle. But it's not gonna last, believe me. Yeah, cause it seems like no matter how much I've done this fight, all I can do is just beat the shit out of myself. So what do you say we get to doing that? In the meantime, whoops, no, I wanted to use... A peanut cheese bar to heal Dan. Not that it's gonna matter, cause since he's confused, he's better off dead. And so now let's see, yeah. <laughs> and it's only a matter of time before I start offing myself. Use Psy Freeze A. Yay! There we go! Kill Stan! Thank you! Thank you! Finally! Yeah, that only took forever. So now with one person dead, what do you say we go for a max set? Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's obvious that I cannot... <laughs> ah, boy, you're making this hard on me, aren't you? Well, I've already made it hard on myself just by getting to you. Come on, kill myself, please. Yeah, there's, there's no way I'm using Psy attacks. There's just no way. And... I actually won the fight? Okay, that, that should not have happened. I got confusion on two people that cannot be cured, and there is no way I should have won this fight. I did not deserve to win this fight because of the fact I was constantly getting myself confused, and it's impossible to cure. 
I should not have won this fight. I didn't deserve to win this fight. So anyway, I make it to the soundstone, but Steven's so half-assed confused, he's not going to be able to use the soundstone properly. Yeah, I did not deserve to win that fight. Not by constantly getting myself confused by the mushrooms. And it can- Everyone was cured?! What?! Be a thoughtful, strong boy. Steve, Steven Soundstone recorded the mel melody of the Milky Well. Um, yeah, Milky Well, no kidding. How was I given an insecure? All this shit I do not deserve because I got confused on my ass. Five times trying to get over here without anyone being confused and it didn't mean squat. I did not deserve to win that fight. I just did not deserve it. Ugh. Yeah, and and being frustrated is actually making my mouth hurt because, yeah, the back of my throat is feeling sore right now just for being so frustrated from being constantly confused and not being allowed to cure it under any circumstances except going back to Saturn Valley and seeing the doctor. And at this point, I've still not won a boss duel in a sanctuary where someone has died. Except for, of course, the initial one where Steven himself lived. Because, of course, he was the only member of my party. But yeah, I really do wish there was a legitimate way to protect yourself from being confused. That, that, that just should not happen that you are burdened with being confused. And you're forced to endure it for the entire duration of that boss duel. That is not... that's just not fair. Yeah, now they're running away from me. Yeah, you better run, you pricks. Step aside, or else I'll kick your ass. Did the, did the game finally take mercy on me or something? And they did they finally decide, okay, you've suffered enough, we're just gonna gift you the victory. <sighs> That's a lot of money, but we still have a long way to go. Uh. Mm hmm. Anyway. So, ne what's next? Impressed? Someday, sometime, we'll help you! I'm sure you will. Oops. I think new things! Difficult things from now! And um, what do they include? Delicious, Steve! Hey, I'm not... I'm not something to eat. You good name! We no name doing! We'll have same name. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, wheeze! Grief is so good! <laughs> yeah, it is. So... Where am I? Where am I supposed to go now? Like, do I just come back the way I came? Cause, yeah, there has to be an alternate path for me to get to, um, you know, that one place. I'm thinking that maybe. Well, it's not blue anymore in three. Hello there. Thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to three. Peace, love. <laughs> yeah. Luck, more than anything else. I won't forget you. Won't you come back to Thweed sometime? Uh, I don't know. Since the leader of the monsters is gone, the ghosts in the tunnel have disappeared. The tunnel- the buses can get through the tunnel now. Well, that's good. I really didn't think those kids could have saved the town. Yeah, you're referring to me. Who would have ever imagined it? I'm just wondering how I survived that one fight. Alrighty! I-I-I'm- I really don't know what else to say. My- I want to go on through the desert and on to the big city. I want to see the city, I want to smell like the big city. <laughs> I'm an Orban type of guy. Yeah, well, me too. But hey, the people are out. Thank you! You're welcome. Sweet! What about you? You're heroes. That rocks. It does, doesn't it? Okay. Um... 
I, w I wonder if the people at the circus are still being themselves. Wow, really? <laughs> yeah, you can't go anywhere without the pervert showing up. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do so, so say myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, fuzzy pickles. Flipping the bird! Wow, what a great photograph. That will always bring back the fondest of memories. Because, yeah, when you look at the male anatomy, that is pretty much what it's doing. <laughs> hey, yo, lamos. The monsters are no longer in the tunnel. That round flying object? A kid with glasses was on board. Yeah, he's with us. The craft landed near the graveyard, right? Can you fix it? It was heavily damaged though, right? Oh, so that's what we gotta do? Now you can go through the tunnel anytime you want. It became really quite peaceful compared to before. Yeah, of course. The town's at peace, but my wife and kids won't speak to me. What's the problem? I don't know. What sucks to be you? And hey, the zombies are still alive. Do something to them. You made our lives peaceful, I can sleep again. It's like you used a bunch of peace paper, right? <laughs> well, at least you didn't use the disgusting joke you used previously. Alright. So are we allowed to move on to the next town then? Because... Oh, so you can't even go back into houses that you couldn't go into before when the zombies were ruling the place. Alright. Yeah, and the tent is no longer here. Uh, the zombies are still caged, though. What's... Oh, that's the ghost. That's the zombie possessor. Okay, got it. Alright. So, yeah, I guess we're done here, so now, I guess the only question is, I, I guess we can start walking over to the desert next. Well, let, before we do, um, let's go back up to the hotel and save the game. So yeah, what I thought was the passage to the next town was actually uh, your sanctuary location. But hey, you know, we're moving up in the world. We got three of them down, and now there's only five left. We are saving the game. Yeah, good night, Steve Tight indeed. Oh, wow. I I'm, I'm just still at a loss for words for what happened in that fight. Oh, and there went my bus, what? Um, can I use the bus stops to... Steve, check the bus schedule. It looks like the next bus will come pretty soon. As in, right now. Yeah, it looks like we can get on board. This bus goes to Forside. I can't let you on if you don't pay six dollars for the fare. Do you want to go? Of course I do. Okay, we're off. Yay. Ugh. Leaving the zombie nightmare that is threed. So what will be our next nightmare? Stay tuned to the next episode to find out. In fact, once we get to Foresight, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do, is just... We're just gonna... Once we get into Foresight... Or maybe we have to make a layover in the desert or something, I don't know. Because it does, did say desert, so... Obviously, there's gonna have to be something we need to do in the desert before we get over to Foresight. I mean, it makes sense, because... Yeah, th when the map said to deserts, obviously there's gonna be... Um... Since we've had crises in every other town so far, we're gonna have some sort of crisis in the desert that we have to deal with before we can get to Foresight. So there's the bus stop, and... Uh-oh. It's bumper to bumper? My job is to drive, so I can't get off the bus. It's up to you if you want to get off the bus and walk around in the desert. Hey, it's a free country. You mean you're actually kicking us off? You're kicking us off? <laughs> what?! No! Well, I, I did see something that said drugs before. Maybe they have, like, some sort of things I can use. I mean, heck, an upgrade on weapons would be nice. If you have them. Oh, yes, you do. Alright. Let me withdraw my money first. We are withdrawing. Um, let's 
put up ten thousand dollars. Man, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm pretty much making as much money right now playing this game fictionally than I would in an entire calendar year. It's kind of selling the wound, isn't it? You're getting a Mr. Baseball bat for Steven, but wait a minute, I, th I think I have to um. Um, let me check my goods here. Yeah, I'm pretty much full. So, I need to give a Rust Promoter. We'll give it to Dan. And then we can make the um, purchase. So, buy a Mr. Baseball Bat. <laughs> must have been owned by, must have been autographed by Tom Sonic or something. Whoa, 12 point jump. Yes, please. What else can we get? We can get a deluxe fry pan for five hundred ninety-eight dollars. Wow, that must be that must have the best non-stick surface in the world. <laughs> All right, we are equipping it here. Yes, please. Um. Well, before we do that, I'm going to check my goods again because we can give. The must promoter to Mal instead of Dan. Yeah, someone put in the comments um, the other day that I could use sugar packets, but they had to be combined with something else. So um, let's talk to you again. Okay, everyone has coins and bracelets. Okay, the co coins of slumber are equipable items. I, I didn't know that. Where, what spot would they go in, though? They would go in place of your hard hat. Okay. Alright. I didn't know that was equipable. I, was, I thought that was like a usable item. Alright. Well, now that I know differently, let's go ahead and buy Coins of Slumber for everyone. Yes, we will equip it here. I just hope I haven't screwed myself over, like, if I go into battle with this, am I going to be starting out the fight asleep? Is that, or is it meant to prevent you from falling asleep? Because, yeah, if I screwed up and I've bought three co coins of slumber and I they're not for what I w was thinking they might be used for, I could be in big trouble. Oops, I meant to deposit. <laughs> uh, yeah. We are depositing. Six thousand dollars, please. And then we'll go ahead and save the game. Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough if I've made the right decision or not. And so, we now have to fight our way through the deserts. Because the traffic is so screwed up. So, I guess we're going to end the episode here, because we can't do much else. So, yeah. We now have to go to Foreside, but it's going to be a hard way to get there. So, with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this Blind Left Play of Earthbound. And when I join you again, we will start making our trek through the desert in the hopes that we can make it, hopefully, without dying of thirst or whatever, because, yeah, who, who knows what complications we're going to have to deal with in this place. So until next time, everyone, this is Matthew with Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.